Okay, my name's Harry Mead. I'm the drum sergeant, which means I'm in charge of the McMillan Pipe Band of Rockville High School. Rockville, in Rockville, Maryland. I'm a uh, local teacher and not a public speaker. <laughs> when people think of Scotsmen, they might think of these two fellows here. They're more caricatures, really, with the excess plaid and the old-timey Renfesty type uniforms. But then you look at pipe bands, and most of the pipe bands that you see in the parades, they've got the big hats and the kind of impractical, uncomfortable uniforms, and they seem more focused on the look than really the sound. Then you have the world of competitive pipe bands. Competitive pipe bands have a very regimented structure where you start out in a block, you go up and you form a circle, you play your selection for the judges, and then you get off the field. There's three components of a pipe band. The pipe section, the midsection, and the snares. Pipe section has a minimum of five players, all playing in unison, we hope. The midsection, with the bass drum and tenor drums in the middle, is more tonal, and the snares are the loudest part. The pipe section, the pipers have, a pipe instrument has four reeds, which makes it very susceptible to heat and moisture problems, which makes it wonderful for the summertime in the middle Atlantic. The midsection usually has one bass drum, it's the heartbeat of the band. It's tuned to match a, uh, one of the drones of the pipes. Then the tenors, which are tuned to match, uh, match the melodic tones. And you also have the flourishing that goes on. Snares. Snares have a top head that's made of woven Kevlar that's stretched very, very tightly across the top. Feels like you're playing on a tabletop. Um, it's very loud, and we can play thousands of notes in a single performance. Grading structure. I mentioned that I, we made it to grade one. Most bands start out at grade five, which is more of the parade speed, and move their way up through winning and accomplishing things and getting more experience. The lower grade brand bands will practice once a week, um, about two hours at a time, and half of that time is spent in sections trying to work out how they're going to play before they get together, and it's more social. In grade ones, you're practicing twice a week, especially during the season, for three hours at a clip, Less sectional, more together time, and it's very much highly focused type A type people. Some competitions that are around, you may have seen regional Scottish festivals, that sort of thing. The pipe bands are usually over in the corner because the emphasis is on the festival, not on the band competition. So there's a lot of vendors and dancing and athletics and lots of things that we're not paying any attention to. <laughs> They've got mass bands at the opening and closing where all the bands get on the field at the same time. Um, usually about 15 bands. Highest is usually a grade two, um, but mostly grade three and below. Then you have the North American Pipe Band Championships in the first weekend of August. Ontario, Canada. 65 or more bands going at the same time. They have some athletics. They also have a dance championship, but it's mostly bands. It's held over two days with a solo and band competition going on, up to four separate competition circles going at the same time, far enough away so that they're not playing over top of each other, with 50,000 spectators. Um, draws mostly North American bands, but it's drawn some from Scotland as well. Um, as many as 20 of the grade two bands that you don't see at many of the regionals and as many as five to, of the eight grade ones in North America, and it's nine hours of competition. Then you've got World Pipe Band Championships in Glasgow, Scotland, a couple weeks later. 250 plus bands, seven competition circles, very few vendors, over 25 grade one bands. The grade one bleachers, you can see there, that's morning qualifiers can seat up to 2,000 people, and they have multi-camera for DVD and BBC streaming. So there's people like us that get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and watch World Pipe Band Championships. They even have Joe, oh, we're already here. I've played for presidents. <laughs> and Rod Stewart. <laughs> 
toured around the country with Bonnie Wright out and helped record an album, and also played for Sean Connery at the Kennedy Center Honors in 1999 and almost caused his death when he jumped uh, when he was dancing in the uh, in the uh, balcony up on top. <laughs> so there you go.